वेलकम बैक लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन टू अनदर एडिशन ऑफ टोटल वॉर अरीना आई एम प्लेइंग एज जमानिकस फॉर अ चेंज आई गॉट टू वेलिटेस एंड अ स्पियर यूनिट नाउ लेट्स सी लेट्स विल ट्राई टू अलाइन विद अ आर्चर यूनिट या दैट्स दैट्स अ मैन एंड सी इफ वी कैन कॉम्प्लीमेंट ईच अदर आर्मीज आई लाइक दिस मैप इट एक्चुअली गिव्स यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एंबुश राइट एट द सेंटर वेयर देयर इज अ tower mount and uh, yeah that's the enemy base cool i'm assuming we'll try and flank the enemy from that area and use uh, the trees and bushes to hide so we have one artillery unit great and uh, okay some swords some velites that's pretty good we have some cavalry as well Oh right, so this would be interesting. What else? Cool. All right, so chop chop. Okay, let's try and go together with the archer unit. Come on, come on, come on. All right, one artillery unit. Okay, cool. They have some support with the uh, velites and others. Okay, let's go. Sorry. At the double. On me. Cool. So he's headed towards the tree, trees, and uh, some bushes. For those of you who played this uh, map before, uh, you've got to be careful about uh, ambushes. Obviously, because that's a perfect area for an ambush, and the distant flag shows red, which means there is already an enemy unit. and uh, you know when they see archer units coming uh, i'm sure all of their eyes lit up because uh, if it's a cavalry charge they can easily annihilate the uh, archer and we don't have to worry about our fire at this point let's see if we can find some enemy cavalry yes enemy cavalry and i'm sure they'll head straight towards the archer let's go and try and see So I'll shoot them with my velite, and I'll send my spear unit, and I'll use their uh, heavy charge. We should be able to sort them out fairly. And yeah, okay. Start running. Start running. Yeah. Uh, let's hide in the forest. Artillery fire coming. Okay, good. They missed. So there's another thing which I'm not really sure about. Whenever there's an artillery fire, should we just plow through and go ahead, or we just fall back? Because I've not really done a proper assessment on how much damage a general tier three or four artillery unit can actually have on uh, tier two. Maybe one of these battles I'll I'll try and explain to you. Okay, as you can see, the flag is still red, which means uh, the There is some enemy unit already there. Like we did. Yes, cavalry. <laughs> okay, we'll send a spear unit and we'll have our militants attack them. For the eternal republic. Why do my militants take so long to fire? First one. Let Malona lead your blades. Okay, now this friendly fire. Let's go friendly fire. For the republic. So this cavalry unit is there. Awesome. Okay, and right now the artillery is not focusing on this region, which gives us a great opportunity to move on. We'll err on the side of the caution. Okay, so artillery unit, fine. So that side is doing all right. We'll go ahead. We'll move on. I'll just try to go to the, the sneak into the forest and see if there's any other enemy unit hidden. And I, whenever I do that, I always put my spear unit up in front in case there's a sudden charge of any enemy unit. Doesn't look like there's anybody, and we can see at the distance our cavalry charging into their base. Okay, I think we should just go ahead and straight head for their base. Yeah. My destiny waits for no one. All right, so there's already the archer unit going from the left side. Okay, just looking back at our base in our uh, town area, it looks 
relatively safe. More units on our side than on enemy side. Okay, let's move on. So we've cleared the forest, clear the shrubs and everything. There isn't any enemy. Here. And the fact that our cavalry is coming from up front, which means clear push. Okay, let's move. On. So what do they have? They have the spear unit. They have artillery. I think we can do that. While they are busy engaging our archer units, I think it's a good opportunity. Oh yeah, Kevin. Spear unit, spear unit. Velite is fire, fire, fire. Fucking fire already, man. Yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. Artillery damage. Okay. Oh, big damage, man. Yeah, I don't advise you to stay in our So I guess we'll try and hide behind the building. We need to get our spearmen to take back in case there's another cavalry charge from anywhere else. Because you know, there's always a suspicion of uh, enemy cavalry hiding somewhere. And you shouldn't leave your archers or velites on their own. Because they are just me for enemy cavalry. So that's why I'm moving my spear unit closer to them. And also at the same time charging them. Okay. So I don't see any enemy unit that can, uh, you know, that, that can be so damaging. Uh, we can take on the archers, we can take on the spear units, the dead artillery. So we're not gonna bother about it. Although I've heard that if you kill the artillery units, you get more points. I personally haven't tried it. And as you must have seen from my earlier videos, victory defeat is something that keeps coming and going. So I'm not really bothered about how many points I have as long as I can So Alright, we can take on. We can take on the units. Cool, we got a support from the from school units, that's great. Okay. Spearman, go ahead, go ahead. Ready to go. Lunch. Enemy. Thank you. So the might of Rome. For the you know what? The, the fucking worry here is that now my village is out there. And let me get out. All the enemies. Need no survivors. Spearman. Yes, it's all right. The might of Rome. Hit the archers, hit the spearmen. Nice. Okay, recharge. Move on, move on. To victory! For the Republic! Ooh, we're getting good number of kills here. Love it. Oh, supported by our archer friend. the double! No, 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 not on that side. Come, come, come. Just change the direction. But there's a block. There's a block here. I can't really go ahead. Cool. For we the can hide and kill. Okay, fuck. Cavalry. Oh, so this is exactly what I'd want. Uh, or, well, let's mark up a business there. I should have. Being more aware of my surroundings. Okay, let's run away. You see, they, they quickly are out, man. Okay. Ah, oh, my spear unit cannot make it. And wow, great. My archer friends have just left that area. Please, dude, help. I guess it's you know it's fair to say that I'm gonna lose both Your my very What a waste, what a waste. How do you type? I must say it's not very easy to type and play at the same time. Yeah. So. Okay, so Velidias are dead. As good as dead rather. So we'll do some ranting on the chat, blow some steam off, and then we'll take our <laughs> yeah, we'll take our spear units and try to finish the job. You guys, 
Phoenix charge. Yeah, let's go for the. Let's go for the. Oh no 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 don't run. We're just we're just here to talk. Please don't run. All I wanna do is talk. They'll deprive me of the pleasure of killing. Killing these remnant of the artillery. Okay, who's following us? Can't do any damage to us now. I think guys, we are in good shape. We are in very good shape. Follow me! Also, I've heard that uh, if you go to the enemy base and you kill the units underneath that uh, flag, enemy flag, you tend to gain more points. So, something to keep in mind. Don't just stand there and kill the enemy units under the flag. There is friendly fire. But... March, okay, and this way you know how we should go and meet them. Get out the Absolutely honorable thing to do. Yes. Oh. Weapons ready! Oh. Wow, this is nice. Although I lost lost both my Velita units. My SPM is not done well. All round good effort. I must say the guys who are attacking or rather defending at the center have done a great job. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to push through. And they also diverted the enemy artillery. So, yeah. All around great team effort. Very happy with the result. Now we just wait. Wait for the sound of victory. I wonder what happens if all the units go and stand beneath the enemy flag, would that just cap it that much faster? I guess, yeah. Uh, why did you keep that? Alright, so at this point, I think it's a foregone conclusion that you won. It's so good. And the other reason I, you know, I ended up choosing Germanicus over uh, Caesar. There were two reasons. A, I want to experiment with another uh, commander. B, you know, Caesar always and almost always requires a supporting unit. Whereas with Germanicus, I have the option to push through, to actually charge. Ah, it's a bit of an experiment thing. And also, I've seen that uh, unless you're level 6 or 5 plus, you can't really use a lot of useful artillery. And uh, it's always a fucking artillery. Unless you know, you, you're supported by other, uh, other units that are like this. Alright, I think. We are very, very close to calling it a day. And why does it decap? Is there an enemy unit that I'm supposed to kill? Follow me! Yeah, I guess not. Fine. Very little time left. And done! Done. Okay, I'm sorry I'm gonna drag it on for I guess another minute. But as you can see, there's not much that can go against our unit, our uh, army. So do tell, do share your experiences uh, and do put your comments below. I'll be happy to, you know, learn some more strategies or find out what mistakes you continue to keep making 
or you know, what are your best strategies to win in this game? I I do feel that one constant challenge that I feel or face is that um, you know it, it's most ideal to have all the ten guys talking to each other, but practically a that's not possible, and b it just it will just end up being a chaotic uh, situation where ten people just constantly speaking in the microphone. So I guess two or three people who who complement each other's style of gameplay can play together. I'd be happy to. Sick up, I'll be. Let me just warn you, I'm not, not a very good player, but I'll, I'll, I'll not desert you. <laughs> I'll not run away. All right, awesome victory! Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you around. Bye bye.